What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here and today guys I'm going to show you the Siri portal for the iPod Touch 4G. Now here we've got a simple iPod Touch 4G. Go ahead and take it out of the case. It is legitimate obviously it's an 8GB 4G. Go ahead and slide here. I'll uh, hold down the home button. As you can see we have Siri. It obviously as you can see, it obviously does not connect to the network because only on the iPhone 4S can we connect to Apple's servers for Siri. So the kinks are not worked out completely yet. Um, ba basically, I'll just show you that again. I am running an iPod Touch with actually iOS 5.0.1. Go ahead and get the camera to focus there. 5.0.1. It is, in fact, an iPod Touch. If I go to software update... You can see it says 5.0.1 is the most recent, so it is the legitimate iPod Touch running Siri. Go ahead and get it to focus again. So, um, it's a possibility that we could get this in the near future on the iPod Touch and even the iPad. I don't really know if we hit the information button here. You can see we get all the options we'd regularly get on the 4S. Um, except, uh, we got the FaceTime icon instead of the phone icon for cold Jason, but it still says phone, and you still got all the phone options, so, um, well, except for there, FaceTime Lisa, but, um, otherwise, it's just the phone options. Now, a few people have asked me if there's a lag with this, and that answer is no, there is not. Um, earlier in the weeks, uh, probably uh, around the end of October, there was a huge lag. It was very slow to open up information and stuff. And just opening up Siri itself, like holding down the home button, was very laggy and slow too. But uh, now on my iPod Touch 4G, it's going pretty fast and uh, it's working pretty well. So um, definitely if you get a chance, go ahead and check it out. I'm not giving any information as to where I got this because, yeah, I don't want any lawsuits or to get in trouble. But, um... You can get this, and I do not own this either. Like, I would posted about it on Twitter, and a few people have asked me questions already, so I may as well just cover them in the video. But I don't own any of this. Uh, it's up to you if you want to do this or not. I really don't care, and I'm not liable if anything happens to your device, or if you get caught or in trouble, because, yeah, you're doing this at your own risk. There's nothing bad about it, though. It's just, there's no full functionality. We're still waiting for a full functionality for Siri on the iPod Touch and the iPad 1 and everything. Hopefully we'll get it soon. As usual, developers are hard on work on things like this. So just uh, be patient and we'll get it. But otherwise, uh, Siri does pop up well. Go ahead and go back into settings. And uh, you can see that we get the regular Siri setting to being able to turn on Siri. Let me focus in again on the camera. Being able to turn on Siri, language, uh, voice feed, back... My info and raise to speak, which doesn't affect the iPod Touch, cause uh, there is no, well, there really isn't a proximity center sensor for the iPod Touch, mainly on the iPhone, but um, still works, and uh, this will also work on the iPhone 4. So, yeah, guys, that's basically it. I just wanted to show you that it is up and running and working, and uh, definitely check it out from sources like Google or YouTube if you can. That's it for now. If you like this video, please leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click that subscribe button on top. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.